In this video, we want to show you how to generate the DDSP file for your report. When I want to get a purchase order DDSP file, I first need to configure here in the settings in generation options that I want the DDSP file generated each time when the report is executed. So by saying edit and switching this flag to on, which I already have on, also a few other fields will be enabled. Here you will configure the default language, which will be automatically set to the language of your system. But uh, if uh, you need to deal with multilingual reports, then this will also be very important for you. You would list here all the other languages in which you want to be able to test your design. With uh, this option, you will get all the labels translated in the selected preview languages and it will help you to test your design directly from the designer without the need to apply it in D365 and then search for different customers or vendors in different languages and print the reports um, for them. When this option is set to on, I can now go and print the report to any print destination wherever I print it, in parallel, the DDSP file will be generated. So let's set the starting, the default setting, and that is to have this uh, initial replica set as the default template. And this is very important, which DSP class is selected because data source is generated based on the SSRS data source, but finally modified potentially modified in the report-specific DSP class. So based on this class, we will get the final DDSP file. And now when I preview the report, preview or print through print management doesn't matter. In parallel, I will get the DDSP file generated. When you do this for the first time, after setting this option, pay attention up here, depending on your browser, you will get the warning. Browser will block the application from downloading the DDSP file. So say always allow and then any consecutive time you will get the DDSP file. I have it in my download folder. So here it is. And as we saw in the first series of trainings, it is one XML file, which have several important sections of information. Based on these preview languages, I have them listed here, and all the labels related to my report data source are now also given here and their translations in all the selected preview languages. Then somewhere below is the report sample data or sample values, and finally at the bottom, the report data source schema. As we know, we will use it to import it into the Word document into our template and it will give us everything that we need in the designer. So if I open even a blank Word document and import this DDSP file, it's a convenient trick to easily see the data source schema without the need to go and analyze that XML structure. So that was the explanation how to generate the DDSP file. In the next video, we will see how to register a new SSRS report that you don't already have among our replicas.